Alrighty, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. So, real quick, I know it's been about a week or so since I've uploaded, and if you do not follow me on Twitter, um, you probably don't know why, but don't worry, I will be talking about that later in this build. And I do apologize, this build, um, this video is pretty long. It's a huge house, huge lot. <sighs> so, I apologize, but you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. So anyways, today we are recreating the goth family from The Sims 3, which, you know, we're most familiar with the goth family. They're very iconic. But in The Sims 3, the family lives in Sunset Valley, which is set around 50 years before The Sims 2 and 25 years before The Sims if you get that. <laughs> At this time, it consists of Gunther, Cornelia, and young Mortimer. So, they are old money, which means they have inherited their wealth from earlier generations, and they live in this large Victorian manor by the Pleasant Rest Cemetery. And the Goth Manor is said to be the first house built in Sunset Valley, and you can see how in Sunset Valley, if you've ever played The Sims 3, how it presides or precedes, presides what's the right word besides <laughs> over the town is like up on a hill overlooking the town so in the description of sunset valley we learned that the town was founded by the goths and built up by the land grabs so the uptown ideals of the new alto family clashed with the more traditional views of the goths forcing the townspeople to choose sides however this is contradicted by the fact that the goths start out as friends with vita alto so, in The Sims 3, as you see, I'm creating Gunther and Cornelia. The goth family appears literally gothic. Um, I love how Mortimer is wearing his little top hat. And actually, Cornelia has kind of that style hair, but it has like purple singes in it, which of course we don't have the option to create different colored highlights. And I really couldn't find a hair that worked for her, so I just made it all black. Um, they wear a lot of black, a lot of black and white, and their house actually looks really gothic, but the way I recreated, as you can see, it looks a lot more... Okay, the inside's kind of gothic. I tried to do like black and gray, but the outside, I didn't use a lot of dead trees and we didn't have that really old, like ugly, worn out siding that I needed to use to make it come to life. So I have the gravestones and everything, but it's a very beautiful lot. I think as hard as a time as it freaking was for me to build it, I think it turned out really nice. Um, but anyways, a little bit about Gunther Goth and Cornelia Goth. So, Gunther Goth is the father of Mortimer. We see him in The Sims. Um, Sims game, I'm familiar with him in The Sims 1. Um, in The Sims 2, uh, I think I just remember him from The Family Tree. I don't even know if he really... Is he alive in The Sims 2? I don't remember. But in The Sims 3... Um, there is no specific mention of him, like I said, being the father of the neighborhood, but, you know, it's kind of, like, assumed that the goth manor, as it is looking over the town, was founded by the goth family. So, he has long brown hair, and he wears that flamboyant top hat, which I really love. He also wears some eyeliner, which I don't even think I put eyeliner on him. Oops, I forgot. I remember telling myself, you gotta remember the eyeliner, but... Uh, I don't think I did. <laughs> so he is a CEO in the business career track, and although married to Cornelia, he does not have an outstanding relationship with her. Um, they do not want to woohoo each with each other, and you know you've got to increase their relationship level to you know do all that. Um, but this, however, contradicts Mortimer's bio, which says the goth strong marriage has produced a healthy boy named Mortimer. So, yeah, and a little bit about his wife, Cornelia, which I think she is so cute. I don't know why. I just think she's so freaking cute. Um, there's not really much about her. Um, I want to say she's, un yeah, she is unemployed. She's a stay-at-home mom. Her biography states that Cornelia Goth is Gunther's perfect counterpart, impeccably mannered and refined, but not snooty. Um, so, as you've seen in the Creative Sim, both Gunther and Cornelia has the hot-headed trait because they're both, like, grumpy in The Sims 3, which is, you know, referred to a lot in their biographies and 
their face wiki fandom or whatever how they're like grumpy and gloomy and all that i guess because they're gothic i'm not really sure and then of course we have young mortimer which we are very familiar with mortimer but this is him as a child i think he's so 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 cute um not really much about him since he is a child he doesn't you know have much of a history for us to talk about but uh we will be recreating the bachelor family which has a little bella which i don't know i think it's so cool seeing them in the sims 3 and how it's set way before everything else but anyways yeah that's about it for the little family here now let me explain to you what's going on with this house because as you saw when I started out um, the terrain was already laid out and that's because I built this house twice and I was pissed off about it that's why I mentioned I was recreating it like a month ago and it's just now being uploaded because this is a huge lot, right? It's a big house, big lot, and I wanted to save it specifically for the update with the terrain manipulation because of, the, like, the lake, and then they have a little fire pit and some hills, and, you know, it's not too complicated, but I really wanted to make it seem as realistic as possible, so I waited for it to come out, built the house. For some reason, the first time I built it, it turned out so nice. It was so easy for me to get the roof right and then the second time after i realized oh my gosh chrissy you wasn't even recording half of it yeah i didn't even record it for real i recorded maybe like 10 minutes of me building it mm, pissed me off <laughs> so i had to go back in and rebuild it and so i kept the terrain there that way i would know the layout of the house and how big it needs to be because i just didn't feel like dealing with all that again so that is why <laughs> and i also cut out me struggling with the roof i don't know why i could not get the roof right it was a struggle that's one thing i really miss about the sims 3 we actually had um, automatic roofs which made it you know life a whole lot easier for people like me who aren't that great at building you know i really i really have to concentrate hard and, and copy something copy a floor plan or it's just not going to turn out right but anyways yeah like i said this house was a struggle and i'm so so relieved that it's over and i'm crossing all of my fingers and toes that the other big houses in the sims 3 that i will be recreating such as the land grab family and the auto family does not cause me this much agony because this house was like torture to rebuild but um i was so proud of it when it was finally done i worked really hard on it i spent a lot of time on it obviously and yeah like i said i think it turned out really really nice it's very expensive um I want to say it's like half a million it's already on the gallery it's actually been on the gallery for a week or two probably since i've finished building it i actually have not gotten around to doing the voiceover until today because i guess we can go ahead and talk about it in case you don't follow me on twitter i am pregnant <laughs> i'm eight weeks to tomorrow so yeah eight weeks tomorrow and i have been feeling all of the pregnancy feels I have been like very nauseous all day. I've been tired, just no motivation, no interest really to play The Sims. As much as I love The Sims, I just, I'm tired and I don't know how to explain it. I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> um, but I'm finally getting near the end of my first trimester and I think some of it's starting to wear off. I know they say in the second trimester, you get more of your energy back, which I'm so excited for because I've been so tired and just, I don't want to do anything and when I talk I get out of breath <laughs> I know it's a struggle right and I actually remember not too long ago before I found out I was pregnant I was recording a voiceover and I remember saying in the end of it oh my gosh I gotta stop because I feel nauseous I was like I think I just ate something from the cafeteria that made me nauseous no I was pregnant <laughs> that's why I was nauseous I didn't know at the time so that's funny but yeah also I have attempted voiceovers um and I just or not voiceovers I've attempted let's plays and I just can't do it. I have had a very bad pregnancy brain, which um, I didn't know really was a thing, but apparently uh, the increase in the hormones or whatever just causes you to just have tons of brain farts. And uh, you might notice it in this, in this video. It's gotten a little bit better, but I mean, I just don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I'll be in the middle of a sentence and be like, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I just forget what I'm saying. I'm forgetting where everything is. And it was just like very obvious and very noticeable and very frustrating when I was trying to do Let's Plays. I just could not get into it. So that's why I kind of took a break because, um, you know, my body's going through a lot of changes and I just, I needed some rest and I wanted to start playing, you know, in my personal spare time because, you know, I don't get to do that often. 
um, which I'm talking about, you know, playing personally in my own free time. See, brain fart, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but I just, I haven't had the motivation. I just haven't wanted to. I haven't wanted to do anything. And it's been very frustrating and boring. <laughs> um, but I'm finally feeling better. And I want to continue to upload videos and, up, you know, all that. And I think I did mention in my last speed build, which was an apartment renovation, I did mention that I wanted to take a step back from some Let's Plays, especially in The Sims 4. I just was not getting into it at all. Um, I don't know. I was just getting very bored with the storyline. You could tell I wasn't, you know, really into it. And I'm not really sure if that's because I was, you know, I'm pregnant, wasn't feeling too good. But, like, even now, I'm just, like, very uninspired, and I've kind of been really bored with the gameplay in The Sims 4. And I think it's just because, like I said, I'm pregnant, and I'm just feeling these feels, because I love The Sims 4, but I've just been bored with it. <laughs> so, I have been pinning a bunch of different houses and house plans to Pinterest, and I have been planning on building all these houses, but... I just haven't felt like it. <laughs> but, like I said, I am feeling better, um... So, hopefully, we'll get back in the role and the swing of things. But I want you guys to bear with me, okay? Because um, I'm not going to hold myself to, like, an uh, upload schedule right now. I just I can't do it. Um, so, yeah, here I am trying to fix this terrain. <laughs> um, which, you know, like I said, I think it's turned out really cute. I really like their yard. Okay, so landscaping, you guys know if you've watched my videos from the beginning or any of my speed builds, I hate landscaping. I'm horrible at it. So that's why I enjoy recreating these houses because I can just copy their landscaping and just make it a whole lot prettier, you know, in The Sims 4. Uh, so yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I would have never thought to put this little graveyard area over here or the little fire pit in the back, you know, the pond, none of it. Would have never thought of it just because I'm not creative like that. So yeah, I think it turned turned out really really nice um yeah this this build this video is very long and I, I apologize so um I could try to talk about the house the whole time but I think it's self-explanatory hope you guys like it um but I think I'm just going to go ahead and talk about pregnancy <laughs> because I know a lot of you want to know about it and uh yeah I need something to talk about so let's talk about it so I found out I was pregnant <laughs> um uh, what day was it? November 19th was the day I took the first test. Okay, so obviously, um, if you know me, I'm, I was not like necessarily trying to have a baby. <laughs> uh, so it was kind of like a surprise. But you know, when you're doing things that result in a baby and you're not taking your birth control responsibly, it shouldn't be a surprise if something like this happens. Um, but I just had this feeling that I was, and I was actually only, I'm sorry, this might be a little bit TMI, so sorry. Um, I was actually not even due for my period until another week, but I had like very sore breast, I know, TMI, and it was like very painful and not normal. And I just had this feeling that that's what it was because I have heard that before. So I, I found a test from one time I had a pregnancy scare <laughs> and I didn't even know I still had these old tests and it was in my car. And I was like, okay, well, I can take this test. Um, it's probably going to be negative, but it's here and I'm, I think I am. So let's just go ahead and just prove to myself that I'm wrong. You're not. So I took the test, went to the bathroom, and then boyfriend, his whole family, they was home. I didn't care because I didn't think it was going to be positive. Went to the bathroom, you know. Did the, did the thing, peed, peed on it, whatever, and um, it came up positive, and I freaked out. I just was not expecting it to be positive. You know, even if I was expecting I was pregnant, I just did not expect it to say positive so early, um, you know, six, seven days before my missed period, and I was like, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, and apparently I was in there for a long time, and so Todd came and, like, knocked on the door. He's like, are you okay? And he, he was like, why do you look like you've seen a ghost? And I was just like come here and I like pulled him by his shirt into the bathroom because like I said his family was in the next room and I showed it to him and he was so happy he just started like hugging me and smiling and I was like crying hyperventilating not because I wasn't happy but I was just shocked um obviously I've always heard when you find out you're pregnant especially for a first time mom it's very um emotional <laughs> and I, I like I had this this excitement I was excited 
Um, but I was kind of scared and I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I found out. And a couple of days later after Thanksgiving passed and everything, you know, we kept it a secret. I continued to take tests to make sure, you know, I still was making sure those, that first test wasn't broken. Um, I tested probably 15 different times, different brands, and it wasn't broken. I was pregnant. Went to the doctor. They confirmed it. And I went back a few weeks ago and had my first ultrasound. And so far, so good. It's healthy pregnancy so far. Strong heartbeat. Um, a couple weeks ago when I went, or a week or so ago, uh, the heartbeat was 133 beats per minute. So that's very good. Um, like I said, I had been feeling all the pregnancy feels. I had been very nauseous, which actually... I didn't get nauseous until about six weeks. Six and seven weeks was the worst. It was just like this all day nausea. I never threw up, which thank God, but it was miserable because I had no appetite and then so I wasn't eating and it just made me even more sick because obviously I need to eat. Um, so yeah, it was not a fun time, <laughs> but now at about eight weeks, it's starting to ease up. I'll have every now and then during, throughout the day, like a little wave of nausea, but for the most part, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a lot tireder, more, a lot tireder, a lot more tired than I was, um, or I have been so far. I'm just cannot get up in the mornings. I don't want to get up. I'm thinking like, okay, okay, I could quit my job. I know I have a child on the way, but I'm tired. I don't want to be there. <laughs> and while I'm sitting at work, I'm falling asleep. When I get home, I lay down and I go to sleep. I'm just so tired. Um, so I'm looking forward to the second trimester where they say your energy picks back up <laughs> so I can feel like myself again. But anyways, yes, I'm so excited um, to be growing a little life inside of me. It's crazy, um, kind of scary, but in a good way, uh, just because I've never mommed before. I don't know how to be a mom. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. I really, really am. I'm excited for August to get here. I'm due August 1st. Um, I'm excited to find out the gender for those of you who are, you know, interested and curious to, you know, what I want. I'm hoping for a mama's boy, but I will be equally as thrilled to have a little mini-me. Um, so I'm not going to say I want one or the other, which, I mean, kind of, I, I want a boy. <laughs> but I'm not going to be upset. I feel kind of bad saying I want a boy, and what if I'm pregnant with a girl? I feel like that's just rude. <laughs> but, you know... I'm gonna love it. I already love it so much. Um, and I feel weird calling my child an it, he or she. <laughs> I love he or she very much and I can't wait to find out, you know, what he or she is, if it's a boy or a girl, and name it and buy stuff for it. And it's gonna be such a spoiled little baby. It is the first grandbaby on both sides of the family. So <laughs> my mom and dad, his mom and dad are freaking thrilled. It's her first grandbaby and it's so spoiled already. It's unreal they're already fighting over it <laughs> so yeah we're really excited so thank you guys so much for you know those of you on twitter who you know extended your congratulations and everything and all the kind words telling me i was going to be a great mommy that was really sweet <laughs> made me really happy um so yeah that that's what's going on so now that you guys know i hope you don't expect too much from me when it comes to my channel i know a lot of you have always complimented me on how consistent i am and how i upload every day and you're probably like a little disappointed <laughs> but you know until you're pregnant you just don't understand and i never understood but now i get it i get it it's a struggle <laughs> but anyways it's been it's been interesting so far you know my body is going through things it's never gone through before you know it's working overtime um, and the first trimester is the hardest, um, so when you're the sickest and everything, so I'm not too far off from the end of that, so hopefully I have an easy pregnancy, fingers crossed, because I think I've been pretty lucky so far. Some people are like throwing up sick, and I haven't been there yet. Hopefully I won't ever be. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I guess we can stop talking about that, so... <laughs> Sorry if you didn't care or didn't want to know all that information, but I'm excited about it. So I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to keep y'all updated. Don't worry. But also, I got to, oh, my mic, sorry, 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 sorry. I know you probably heard all that, but my mic was like spinning and I don't, I don't know if you could hear me very well. But anyways, back to the goth family house. It's huge, okay? And um, even in The Sims 3, the brooms were just really big and I was like, there's no way these rooms need to be that big <laughs> but it is a manor it's a mansion so you know what do you expect and i'd love to build big houses 
but I only love it after I'm finished with it <laughs> because I feel so accomplished. But it's intimidating because there's so much space that you have to fill up. So as you can see, I struggled a little bit with the living room trying to fill in that space. I did not give them a TV or anything like that. I did give more, not Mortimer, oh my gosh, Gunther a computer in his office upstairs as you'll see later but they didn't have a tv in their house in the sims 3 and because they are like this gothic old-fashioned family i didn't really imagine that they would have a tv i imagine that obviously since they are supposedly the founders of the town that they and he's like a ceo corporate or whatever that he would have a lot of guests over they would host a lot of parties so i really wanted their house to be you know, welcoming of that. Like when you walk in, it's like, oh, okay, there's something for me to do. So I gave them a very nice big sitting area. I gave them a piano there. Um, I gave them the fireplace. I gave them a bar. I gave them a little music room. I gave them chess tables. They have plenty of things to do to keep their fun up, but I just didn't feel like a TV was something that the Goss would have. And um, I think that makes it very unique. But yeah, I kind of went with the same, you know, color scheme as I want to say the Sims 3. I, I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I built this house. I'm now doing the voiceover. I just don't even remember. Um, but I want to say it was mostly like this black and gray color, which, you know, would make sense. It's, it is the goth family. And here I am struggling with the counters because I just felt like there was too much space in this kitchen. So there's a huge uh, island in the middle, which is pretty. I think it looks really nice. I added some little columns there to make it more realistic and I was going to try to clutter it up but I don't know I just feel like they wouldn't have a very cluttered house if that makes sense um, I gave them a washer and laundry room right there because that bathroom was huge like I said the, the floor plan in the house just was huge so I gave them a little um my goodness a washing and dryer room laundry room Jesus what am I trying to say and I was going to say because they are such a rich, fabulous family that I could imagine them having a maid. But also, Cornelia is a stay-at-home mom, so I still feel like they would have a maid. But, you know, she ain't got nothing else to do, so why wouldn't she clean up around the house? You know, she's living the life. Her husband's a CEO, and she's like a stay-at-home mom. I feel like, you know... If I was just had the opportunity to become a stay-at-home mom, um, as tiring as that might be, I feel like I would feel that's part of my duties to clean the house and, you know, do the laundry and stuff like that. But if I was also this rich, <laughs> I would hire a maid and I wouldn't do crap all day and it'd be awesome. I'd play The Sims <laughs> and watch Netflix and just be lazy and that's living my best life. So, I don't know. Shout out to Cornelia. You know, do you, girl. Do what you want to do. But, yeah, um, I tried to make their house... Um, Kind of, I don't want to say old-timey looking, but I wanted to, you know, incorporate this old-timey feel because it's like a gothic Victorian manor. But I also wanted to make it, you know, very nice and not really modern. Not modern at all. That's not the word I'm looking for. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you see me use a lot of... Um, those little candles on the wall because I just felt like that looked very very nice in their house because it just gave me that gothic vibe that old-timey vibe um and their entryway there I just trying to just put some stuff in there you know like I said all this space it was a struggle I gave them this little coat rack here because like I said I imagined that they would have guests over all the time um, he'd be hosting lots of meetings for work and parties and stuff and I just feel like as many times if I've watched stuff like Gossip Girl <laughs> um, <laughs> when they have guests over and they're the big mansions and everything, there's always there's um, always somebody there to take off their coat, like a butler or you know someone they hired for the party. I'm not really sure. Beyond my means, I don't live that life. I'm not really familiar with it. So if I sound ignorant, sorry. But yeah, I don't know. So that's why I included that. So hmm. and this little area in the back, um, they had a tree back there. <sighs> which was kind of weird, a palm tree, because their house is like gothic. I didn't understand why they had a palm tree. But then I read that Cornelia is actually a green thumb. So 
I think that's why. <laughs> I'm assuming that's why they have that greenhouse back there. So I included a little palm tree because I wanted to make it as realistic to the original Sims 3 house as I could. And um, later I actually go back and put, put some more potter plants around it and try to give it that greenhousey vibe so yeah maybe that's what she does all day she plants and gardens and yeah that's really cool so here i am in their master bedroom which like i said was freaking huge um it was very intimidating i was like i don't know what to do with this freaking room so i gave them a nice little living area and i used the closets right here from get famous there you go Carissa get it together <laughs> and while they are gothic and I you know her outfits not very stylish she also has money okay she's a goth so I needed to use that space so I just went for that I think it turned out nice <laughs> um oh yeah I just I had to do something y'all so I, hopefully you guys don't think that I don't know I, I kind of struggle with it like does that look like because, you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like that'd be something more for the Alto family or the Landgrab family, that luxurious closet. But, you know, at the same time, the goth, just because they're goth doesn't mean that they don't have selective clothing. You know? Don't judge. <laughs> but anyways, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. This house is huge, and if you wanted to download it, you could change the floor plan easily and create a ton of different bedrooms because this house only has two bedrooms you could make the library i make the room in the back a library because i think they do have a do they oh my gosh y'all i should like refresh my memory before i do these voiceovers but i don't i, th I want to say they do have a library but i know mortimer loves to read he's like a very artistic little boy so i gave him a little library back there and then there's his room and then upstairs there's like the attic and then upstairs above that in the little tower, it is Gunther's office. So, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity to make this house, you know, suit other children or like a guest bedroom. Or if you wanted to give them a butler, you could definitely change all that. But I think their master bathroom is gorgeous. I love the tub and how it's like in that little bay window area right there. So, yeah, a lot of space that I had to, you know, fill up right there because they didn't have all of that in The Sims 3. It was mostly just open space in a tub <laughs> because The Sims 3, that's just uh, fuggly and they don't do a very good job, but, you know, in some houses. But in Sims 4, it's a lot easier to decorate and make it come to life. So, yeah, I think that turned out really nice. And like I said, I made this room the library because Mortimer is... You know, very smart little boy. He likes to read. He likes to write. And uh, I want to say in The Sims, was it The Sims 2? I want to say in The Sims 2, there was, like, talk of him being an author and wanting to write and everything. Wait, no, that's Alexander. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, Alexander is the one that wants to write. He's a writer, okay, which is Mortimer's son in the future, okay? Mortimer, apparently, according to The Sims 3, he was artistic, liked to write, and he liked to paint and stuff, so I gave him a little painting area, which he can't even use that painting area quite until he is a teenager, but, you know, whatever. And um, also, Mortimer in The Sims 2, he's a scientist, so when I get to his room, you'll see I included, you know, a little science, scientist, scientist area for him to work on that, so... Sorry, I don't even know what I was just saying because I'm doing this voiceover at work as usual and awkward. Somebody just walked in, so I had to be like, uh, skirt and stop because <laughs> awkward. But anyways, um, <laughs> this is a mess, y'all, but what do you expect? I hate doing voiceovers and I hate doing voiceovers or bills that are this long. And I tried to make it as short as possible, but I sped it up and it is just too much. It was kind of like choppy. It just didn't look good that sped up at that speed that I had it on. So, you know, knocked it back down to the normal speed that I speed things up to for speed builds. Um, so sorry, yeah. <laughs> I did what I can do, but... Here I am recreating, or creating, oh my gosh, 
Mortimer. Yes, I'm right. I, I keep getting so confused. Okay, Mortimer. This is Mortimer, not Alexander. This is Mortimer's room, which I think turned out so cute. It just looked like a little Victorian bedroom for a little boy, all old timey. And you can definitely see that he has lots of hobbies and lots of interests. Um, so there's his little scientist table I was talking about. And since he is apparently artistic, I gave him that nice little, little drawing thing there. <laughs> and a little puppet thing because you know it's a big room had to had to fill up as much space as possible and then of course typical all of my bathrooms match which I don't know why I do that I think it's because I'm kind of like OCD and I like things to flow and I don't know unless a bathroom is a suite on suite to a master that I, I, I could go with you know make that color scheme flow but the rest of this house is very black and white and gray so yeah that's why it matches and i'm sorry if you don't like that but i typically tend to do that for houses i just kind of give you know the downstairs bathroom and the upstairs bathroom the same same style <laughs> so yeah sorry anyways um i'm running out of things to talk about and um the more i talk for some reason the more nauseous i feel I think I have a wave coming over me right now, which sucks. So I'm actually about to uh, end this here. So yeah, I'm going to cue some music here for you guys to listen to. And um, hope you enjoy it. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to push through. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> I just feel like I have so much more to explain. I haven't even given myself a chance to get up to the next level because this house is four levels. But, um, yeah, bathroom, typical, same. But I think it's very pretty. I think it turned out very nice. So, yeah. <laughs> and then the little foyer outside, I just kind of gave a nice little sitting area. Um, I could have cluttered this house up a lot more but I kept it to the minimum because I just feel like <sighs> it's big. But just because it's big does not mean that you have to just clutter it and put something in every corner. Because too much clutter kind of gives me anxiety. I don't like too much clutter. Um, so I kind of try to keep that to a minimum, especially in my big builds. So yeah, hopefully you guys like it and appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I kind of want to scrap this voiceover because I'm at the end where I'm trying to like drag stuff out and I think it sounds horrible, but I've pushed through for, you know, over 30 minutes, 32 minutes. So day gummit, I'm going to keep going and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're at this point point, you're like, oh my God, please shut up. <laughs> We're almost there. Keep pushing through. If you have made it this far, uh, please let me know. If you're listening to this right now, let me know that you made it this far because I will love you forever because it takes a, a very nice person to sit through a voiceover this long, especially when it's me talking. But yeah, this house is just really big, so I just bear with me. But I think it turned out really nice. I love the little fire pit out there. I just, I love this house. I really do. It was a pain in the butt. Hated it when I was building it, but I appreciate it now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it turned out nice. I don't think that, oh, 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 okay, we can talk about this. If you guys are familiar with The Sims 3, you know, obviously, we had cars and such, so there was lots of garages and stuff. Well, for this house, the lot was a lot bigger that it was built on in The Sims 3. So they had a garage, uh, like a huge garage with, like, a little party area, but I, I just could not fit it. I couldn't fit it, so I felt like having the pond was more important since, obviously, we don't have cars in The Sims 4, so hope you guys don't mind that, and it's kind of dark. You can't really see it, but here I am trying to make this look like an attic. I put a bunch of spider webs and old furniture and stuff up in here. I did not include a door because I didn't want them going up there and sitting on the couches for some reason. thought that'd be really freaking creepy, so we're just going to pretend that there's like a little door, and that's just where they store all their stuff, which I just thought it was realistic and cute, and then um, uh, I don't even really think that this is a, I don't, <laughs> I don't think this is as accurate to a floor plan. Once I got up to this story where the attic was, it was kind of confusing because of the roofing. So I kept that 
hallway area right there with the big door to the deck i kept that pretty much open and blank because i imagined that that was just you know an attic area and then there is a stairway that leads up to the tower which was gunther's office you know he is a ceo so there is a computer um i was actually thinking about putting a door there um so it could be locked so you know it would just be gunther going up there to work and because i just find it very annoying when you invite people over and they want to you know play on the computer and this is the only computer in the house and they're all up in his office you know it kind of ticks me off it's kind of rude i've mentioned that before i mean it's the sims game but you know me i take things way too seriously but anyways guys this build is finally wrapping up so i am going to shut up now so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it wow you are a trooper and this house is available for a download on the gap gallery so if you want to download it go ahead the family is available for download as well but they include custom content so make sure you ch check that little tab there so you can find them but anyways guys um bear with me with my upload schedule as i am coping with the pregnancy feels i love you guys so much thank you all so much for the support and yeah talk to y'all later bye